Hey there, Rivet Home Athletes. Happy Wednesday. First day of our four weeks of closure. Hopefully this will all be over before we know it, and it will be just the four weeks. Fingers crossed. Uh, workout today, um, I have a 10-minute AMRAP for you. You're doing 10 dumbbell front squats, 10 dumbbell plank rows, and 10 dumbbell burpees. As many times as you can in 10 minutes. Equipment need today, two dumbbells. Hopefully you have two dumbbells. If you don't have them today, you're going to have them soon. Um, do not need to be too heavy. You know, use whatever you have. If you do happen to have really heavy dumbbells, feel free to turn those tens into, you know, a lower number if necessary. And also, if you have really light dumbbells, feel free to increase the number a little bit. But ideally, we're looking for 10, 10, 10, as many times as you can, 10 minutes. Let me show you the movements. All right, so front squats, dumbbells right at the shoulders. Let's try to keep those elbows pointing forward. Think about trying to keep this upper arm here sort of parallel to the floor. Um, we send the hips back and down, we press those knees out, we're getting a full squat down at the bottom, standing all the way up at the top. Keep those heels flat, press those knees out gently. 10 reps right there, the front squat. Then, next two movements you may not be familiar with. Let me move my camera just a wee bit here. So we have plank rows. So there's a plank in there, as you can tell from the name, so we're kind of we're keeping a nice tight middle on it, with our hands on the dumbbells, right? Kind of right here. A little bit of space between your feet for this one. Just for balance, feet are maybe about shoulder width apart. So tight belly, tight butt, tight quads, and the row heart, you just kind of pull elbow or dumbbell to the shoulder. I want you to do five on each side for a total of 10. With that one, try not to twist too much, right? We want to avoid kind of doing some weird kind of thing like this to try to pull the weight straight up and down. And then also notice I'm not sticking my butt up in the air. To make this a lot easier, you can stick your butt up in the air. Do not make it easy. Stay right here. And row, and row. 10 reps. And then you don't know I'll check it. So you leave the dumbbells right where they are. What we're going to do here is we have the dumbbells on the floor. So go ahead and pick them up. So we both go down. We do much like a burpee chest to the floor in between the dumbbells. We're going to jump the feet up. And then little jump at the top. You do not have to put your hands up overhead or the dumbbells for that now. Let me demonstrate a couple more. Dumbbells to the ground, chest to the floor, jump the feet in, little jump. All the way down, chest to the floor, jump the feet in, little jump. Dumbbell burpees. Let's so see how many times you can get three of those three movements, 10 minutes. Now, you can see I also have a core finisher for you. I thought we, you know, as we're at home, today's workout's relatively short, it's only 10 minutes. Let's do a little extra core work as well. So I have three rounds, and don't worry about time on this. Take your, you know, do it at your own, uh, at your own pace. We're gonna do 20 dumbbell side bends, that's 20 on each side, and then 20 tuck ups with a three second extension. What am I talking about? I'll show you. Let me move this to camera a little again. Pardon my excellent camera work. So side bands, we're working on our obliques, right? We have these internal and external obliques on the side here. That's what we're working. And I'll demonstrate first. So I have one dumbbell, one hand. Doesn't have to be super heavy. What we're doing here is we're doing a side bend. It's going straight down, going straight back up again. It's not a huge range of motion, right? But what we're working here are the obliques on this side. You should feel these muscles kind of gauging up. Now, something to avoid. Tendency sometimes you hear is you see is to kind of push this hip out to the side, in which case you are not engaging this, not anywhere near as much. But try to keep the hip stationary, right? Don't let this hip go this way, keep it right there, and just go straight down, right up. Again, relatively small range of motion. And then another thing I'll say, shoulders and hips stay square, right? We're trying not to twist or anything like that. We're just going straight down, right? Not sending this hip forward, or sideways as you say, and coming right back up again. So I'll do 20 on that side, switch hands, mirror image, same deal, keep the hips stationary, do 20 on the other side. And feel free if you want to go 10, 10, 10, 10, I don't mind. But go ahead and accumulate 20 on each side, slow and controlled belly brace. And then tuck ups. You have done these before. Um, yep, there you go. So a tuck up cooks, looks kind of like this. We lean back, what we're doing here, basically we're tucking the knees into the chest. Right, this is the tuck up. You can keep your hands on the floor here for balance if you need to, but puts a lot of tension on the midline, 
great exercise. What I want you to do today to make this even a little bit more spicy is as the leg kicks in, I want you to count to three. So I'll bring the knees into the chest, then I go one, two, three. Knees into the chest, one, two, three. Knees into the chest, one, two, three. You get the idea. And it is pretty handy to have the hands on the ground for balance. So slight lean back to engage the abs. Knees into the chest, and one, two, three, extend. Knees in, one, two, three, knees in. You're gonna feel that. I feel that just from doing a few of those. So that one's at your own pace after you've done the main workout. That's all I got for you today. Come back tomorrow, stay tuned. I'll have more, for you now.